Hello, everybody. Welcome to Late Night Football. Welcome to our match reaction show. It's finished Liverpool 2, Real Madrid 5. And I mean, Liverpool have bottled it. I mean, I, I don't think any other sentence describes that Liverpool have just bottled it. Uh, to be 2-0 up after 14 minutes, 15 minutes, um, you know, and, and then to come away with a 5-2 defeat. I think that that, that, that takes a special level of talent, uh, if you can call it that. It is just unbelievable. But but it was talent from Real Madrid, though, it was, because you, you got to give them credit as well. They were, they were at it, they, were, they fought, they never let their heads drop, even after going 2-0 down, particularly in the circumstances that they went 2-0 down. Yet they kept fighting, they kept showing the courage, and ultimately they made their own luck. And, and they were helped a lot by what Liverpool did. And, and we're going to talk about that, because some of that, some of the, the play from Liverpool was diabolical, um, you know, bordering on, on ridiculous, really. Um, I mean, some of those goals really were ridiculous. Um, but uh, ultimately, you know, you've, you've got you got you got a great Real Madrid for that as well for, for just for just showing that fight and and make and you know in some ways perhaps inducing those mistakes by inducing panic in the team. Um, but let, let's do that. Let's go ahead and start. I like I I like the fact that Cruz and Modric didn't start this game. I I, I thought Ancelotti might play the two of them because sometimes he does that. But I think now we're well and truly seeing that Real Madrid are moving past the Cruz and, and Modric era. So I was happy that both of them didn't start the game from a Madrid point of view. Um, I was surprised that Chouamini didn't start. Uh, maybe he felt that Chouamini wasn't fit enough for a game of this magnitude. But I probably would have, uh, you know, just for this opening, after those opening 15 minutes, I was there, maybe Chouamini should have started instead of maybe Valverde or, or maybe Rodrigo. But um, nonetheless, I think ultimately it doesn't matter. But but I like the fact that they didn't start Cruz and Modric. I like the team that Liverpool put out as well. Um, I mean, but but then again, you, you kind of see where the limitations were, and we'll get into that as the game as as we get to progress into the game. But that first goal is, is a work of art, uh, you know, from from Liverpool. It really is a work of art. Go and watch it again. It's a beautiful midfield play. It, you know, the way that they move the ball around is so good. It comes out to Salah. Salah puts a wonderful pass, a chef's kiss pass, as they say. It is so good. And I don't know what Eder Militao is doing. How he, you know, he just loses track of of Darwin Nunez. I have no idea what he's doing there. And Nunez just the flick. Uh, you know, past Koto. Koto, I think, is not expecting that flick. Koto is expecting probably a shot. Um, he just flicks it and Koto has got flat-footed and it, it's it's 1-0. Um, and suddenly Liverpool look like they believe in themselves again. I've been saying that the, the belief seemed like it had come back to Liverpool uh, after the couple of, last couple of games that they've done really well. And you could see that, that Anfield was bouncing to get that opening goal. It's such a good goal. And then it and one nil becomes two nil and two nil didn't flatter them, by the way. They were really all over Madrid in those first 15-20 minutes. And that second goal, I mean... I, I know a lot of people will blame Kotoa for it, but I will blame Karwa Halizo because that pass is an absolute nightmare of a pass for any goalkeeper to deal with. The way he just lobs it. You don't lob a pass like that. If you want to do it, you hit it on the ground um, if you really want to. But the way that he lobbed it back, um, you know, so Kotoa's just got to take it, take it. And then he gets a bit casual as well. I mean, let's, Kotoa is not blameless as well. He got a bit casual once he chested it down. He's trying to knee it. For some reason, I don't know what he's trying to do. And after the knee, he just kind of loses it. And then it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? And Salah is there. Great to Salah for being in the right spot in the right time. And he just puts it in the back. And then one of the easiest goals that Salah will score at 2-0. Particularly considering a goal like that, you're thinking, wow, Liverpool are on it. They're, they're, there's no way back. They're surely, if they can get another one, they're, they're, you know, they're in it, they're, in it, they're doing, looking so good. They're looking so, you know, they're, they're dominating Madrid in a way that no team really you know, dominates Madrid that way. They had, the, they had the measure of the midfield. They probably had the measure of the defence as well. And it just felt it was a matter of time before third goal came for Liverpool. Um, and probably should have come as well in the move that uh, got Alaba injured. I think that should have probably been a third goal as well. But then Alaba goes off. And I think that was the turning point. I think Alaba getting injured was actually a turning point for Madrid because I do feel Alaba sometimes becomes a bit of a liability because of his, his tendency to attack um, and also his tendency to leave gaps sometimes. Not always. I think today, I, I, it's difficult to say whether he was the reason why they considered two goals or why they came back in the game. But once Nacho came on, suddenly the, the, the team looked a lot more solid defensively. Um, I think Ancelotti also tied in up. I think he told Fede Valverde not to, to try to make sure that he's helping out um, Vinicius and uh, uh, Nacho because uh, the Liverpool are getting too much space down there, right? Which is Madrid's left. So I think they needed something to, to go right on that. So they needed, they needed more protection. And once they started getting more protection, they got with more solid. Then that goal goal comes for Vinicius, which I mean again, it's a well worked goal. It's a one, it's 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 a, it's a one two with Benzema. But that finish from Vinicius, um, is just incredible. It's a beautiful finish. Well, you know, it's a, it's added in and it has to be added in because he's going up against Allison a little bit to 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 uh you know a little bit inside. And I think Allison probably saves it. So he's got to head it perfectly into the corner, which he does. It's a nice, beautiful shot, and it's two one, and it's game on. 
And, and the thing is, with this sort of game, I think with Liverpool being 2-0 up, what they had to do was they had to make sure that they don't concede. They keep it 2-0 for as long as possible. Because the moment they concede, you could tell Madrid were going to get the belief back and they were going to come at Liverpool. So Liverpool really had to keep it at 2-0 for as long as they could, which they failed to do. They made it 2-1 very, very quickly after. I mean, the fact that they conceded so, you know, 20th, uh, 20th minute, you know, it's not not a lot of time, you know. You you don't have that much amount of time um to be able to to give that to give to concede so quickly after scoring two would have been a sucker punch to be at two one and then it moves on and it becomes two two. I mean that that goal. I mean we saw one from Kotu and the Allison said, "Fine, I'll give you another one as well. I'll give you one to balance it out again." Um, it, it's a it's a decent pass from Valverde. It's not a great pass from Valverde actually. It's, it's okay, but Gomez makes a good interception. Again, it's a good it's a decent interception or a good interception. He makes that interception. He passes back to Allison. Now, normal circumstances, what Allison, Allison has got to do is he's either got to pass it to Van Dyke or he's got to just you know put it over and and just be done with it. But instead, he tries to be a player. He tries to go. Ah, I'm going to make a pass here like this, and he tries to make that pass. He, it hits Vinicius. The problem with that sort of pass is because it is hit with um, you know, with with not a, with, it's hit with the right kind of power. Sometimes if you really power a shot, right, even uh, or power a pass, what happens even if it says the player, it goes loops over the bar and goes somewhere else, right? Or if you under hit it, it hits it would have hit Vinicius, but maybe Alison would have time to react and grab it before Vinicius could do anything because Vinicius had already turned, right? But in this case, because he hits it in such a way. He said if the right sort of amount of power where it doesn't go over the bar and it doesn't kind of stop, it hits him and goes perfectly inside the goal. It's it's an absolute nightmare from 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 Allison and I expect better from him um, of all players. But it's it's you know it's just a silly goal to concede and it becomes two two. All of a sudden it's two two and and that's when man mentality kicks in. That's when belief kicks in because at this point you've got a goal that you probably shouldn't be conceding. What do you do next? Do you do you, you know do you go into your shell or do you go? No, we've done well so far. We come you know we we go again. We're gonna fight again. Now, those are the things that that you know define champion teams. And I think the Liverpool of last season probably would have come back and got scored a goal or two more. The Liverpool of this season is not a champion team. This is they they're just not they're just not that good anymore. Um, whatever the reason being, they're just not that good anymore. That doesn't mean that they're that they are not good enough to get top four. By the way, somebody might come and point that out. It just means that they're not as good as they were last season to be title contenders or Champions League contenders. This is why, because they don't have, they've lost that little bit of that fight, that mentality that they had, along with, of course, a little bit, you know, the legs have got, gone a bit older, the, the mind has gone, the body has gone a bit older for some of the players as well. But then that second half came, and the first five minutes was going to be crucial in that second half because you knew Real Madrid were going to come at Liverpool, and Liverpool had to weather that stride, that storm out, and then hopefully they could then go on and, and you know, do something with it, but it just, just fell away. I mean, Joe Gomez. I what a night my second half Joe Gomez has had, and then he will be looking back and then wondering what 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 what's gone wrong. But that third goal, I mean, it's it's um it's a it's a silly free kick to concede from from Joe Gomez because he really doesn't need to do much. But at that point, I think they were just scared of Vinicius. Right, Vinicius has got two goals. They were just scared of him, like they were panicking, and that's where panic sets in. Right, when when things like that happen, and then things start to happen. Um, and and he just put a foul that he didn't need to do. Um, and uh, that free kick from Modric is beautiful. But how does Ed Militao? Uh, you know, goes past everyone. He goes past everyone. I don't know how he, how he's done that. How nobody picked him up. Like there's four defenders all standing in line, and nobody has picked practice one. Not a single person. I think they're all waiting. Um, and I think maybe they were waiting to be thinking Modric might try a shot from that angle, or they were all probably waiting for a cutback and trying to block the shot, which is not how it works. And uh, it's just poor defending, poor marking, and and Eddie from that sort of range is not going to miss a goal like that. It goes in. It's um it's three two suddenly Real Madrid go from two 0 down to three two uh and then three two becomes four two and again it, it's it's com you know it's it's just unbelievable Joe Gomez again caught on side he plays Rodrigo on side he's got to step up and play him offside but he doesn't he stays back he gets caught he's it's he, Rodrigo's on side the ball comes out there it's a nice one two between Benzema and Rodrigo and then Benz I don't I don't think it's a good pass back from Rodrigo Benzema is stretching but he still goes for the shot. And uh, it just deflects of Gomez. I mean, if it if it hadn't been deflected of Gomez, it would have you know been saved by Allison or gone off target. But uh, you know he that deflection just basically makes it loop in uh, you know into the goal. And what, the, the deflection part is unfortunate because you know no defender likes that, and I don't think um that was that was something that you know that that's just when it's not your day, it's not your day kind of thing, and it's sad. But that but playing him on side was the crime, right? You, you've got to you've got to be in sync with your defenders, and you've got to make sure if everybody's up, you've got to make sure you hold that line, and he didn't hold that line. Um and it becomes four two and then it becomes five two. I mean uh, it's it's just um 
that that the fifth goal for me that fifth goal encapsulated where liverpool went wrong where everything went wrong because at that point i think it was just yeah we, we've lost we, we've done whatever we can this is you know this panic that 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 was desperation uh, you know at, at the max because it comes it's a throw in for liverpool and fabinho has got the ball he's not in the trip to, you know he's under pressure but he's not under the kind of pressure where you think oh my god what he's going to do but he just gets a bit casual modric comes in steals the ball i mean pajatic i mean he had a decent game and you can't really fault him much because he's so young but he's got to do better there than to let Modric just run past him and just go goes past him. He's got to do something more than what he did. But once Modric is through, and then he's just got to pick out the right pass, and he picks out Vinicius. Uh, Vinicius plays it back to Benzema, and Benzema sits Allison down. I mean, that Allison's got to be at fault as well for that goal. The way he just goes down so easily. I mean, it's just it's unbelievable when you watch that goal. Um, and there's three defenders, there's three Liverpool defenders that are covering back, and yet Benzema still manages to score. And that's not, that is that is not good defending. That goal was not good defending at all. So, the, the it was 5-2 and after that, Liverpool just kind of see it out. And go, yeah, we've got five goals. We've done we've done our job. Let's not try to go for a sixth and concede a third. You know, I think that was what it was, a 5-2. Um, it, it, there's there's, uns, there's things for Klopp. I, I was actually going to think about it. I mean, they were 2 nil up and I was thinking, what am I going to talk about? I was like, well, maybe now, you know, we're seeing a new Liverpool. We're seeing a rebuild because you've seen Gakpo, we've seen Nunes. I thought Nunes had a good game and that, like, a lot of Liverpool players, he had a good game in the opening 20-30 minutes then he faded away but it does look like Nunez is slowly starting to find his form now for Liverpool and I expect him to be a big player um, for Liverpool this season whatever's remaining this season and whatever their goals might be for this season along with next season I think he'll be a key player but you, I still say they, they've rebuilt it because they've got Nunez they've got Gakpo they've got Bajetic now in the midfield you know Gomez is, is coming it was you know he's, he's sort of been given a first choice responsibility probably not anymore but um, you felt like there was the nucleus of a new side being built but then all of it just comes crumbling down um, in a matter of you know 50 minutes 55 minutes it all comes crumbling down because of, of just some poor uh, poor tactics, really. Poor tactics, poor play, poor personnel. I mean, I, I don't know what where they were. They were it's hard to pinpoint one area where they went wrong, but they went wrong in so many areas. And uh, I mean, the club will be disappointed. I mean, you've got to be disappointed with the result anyway, right? I mean, to go from 2-0 to 5-2, that's just not... Even in any other circumstance, a 5-2 defeat is, is bad. But to lose 5-2 after being 2-0 up is, is just unbelievable. It's 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 a, it's a bit of a, a sucker punch. That's Spurs level bad, I would say, uh, from Liverpool. Um, I thought Gomez, for me, was, was absolutely dis, you know bad in that second half. And these are the sort of games... Which when you look back, you go, right, this player hit rock bottom and now he's where, let look where he is now. Or you look, why he went wrong, but he's never playing again for Liverpool. And I'd be surprised if Gomez is going to start again for Liverpool for a while. I would really surprise. But this is where Gomez is going to have to show his mental strength now. He's going to have to fight his way back into the first eleven, And then once he's in the team, he's going to have to show that that game was a blip and that he can recover from these kind of setbacks because that is what defines great players. Great players, it's not that great players don't make mistakes. It's how they respond from that. Um, and then we're going to see how, how he responds to that. But I don't think any Liverpool player, I mean, maybe... Maybe by maybe I mean I would say maybe Nunez is the only play, uh, Salah as well Nunez and Salah for the opening play of twenty thirty minutes they probably come away with some credit from that game I think um, but nobody else really comes away with the credit Bajetic can be okay with his performance but I don't think anybody else really played you know in the way that they're supposed to and I think that that team needs a lot of surgery now in the summer whether they'll have the money to do it whether they have the backing to do it we'll have to wait and see but but that team needs surgery um, from Madrid's point of view I mean it's Madrid right they're patchy. In, in La Liga at the moment, they, you know, they, they, they're kind of winning games. They probably, you know, could win more, more comfortably. But when it comes to, you know, they, they're 2-0 down. But it doesn't matter. It's it's a Champions League. They say that. Nah, screw it. We're, 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 the, we're the champions of Europe. We're the best team in Europe. We're going to show you what we can do. And they go and win 5-2. Um, I was very impressed with Vinicius. I thought Vinicius once again looked like the Vinicius of October, which I don't think he has looked for a long time. But today he looked like that. And he's he's look, he's look slowly starting to find his feet again. And hopefully this game is the accelerator now for him to to re rediscover that form and be a key player for Madrid again like he was. I and mean, Benzema will be happy with the two goals that he scored as well. The first one was a bit lucky. The second one probably was, was peak Benzema, wasn't it? The way that he finds that space and he finds a gap in the goal where there is where there should be none. I think that's, that's, that's wonderful to see as well for Liverpool every time uh, for Rival Madrid, brother. Um, they'll be very happy with that. Um, I mean, Kamavinga was tidy in midfield, as they said. But, uh, I mean, it needs... Uh, I, I the first 20 30 minutes will be a concern for Madrid, but I think the way they recovered, the way they fought, I think that will be something that will please Ancelotti a lot. So, um, 5 2 is there a way back for Liverpool? I mean, if it was any other team, I would say, yeah, there's still a chance. I mean, they've done it against Barcelona, so but at home, but they have done it, so there's a chance there would have been a chance. But I think, I think three goals down going to Madrid, um, it's gonna be tough. I I I think the tie is so I 
I hazard to say this, and I might get this clipped and all, but but you feel rationally thinking, logically thinking, this tie should be over for me. I don't think Real Madrid um, should be letting Liverpool back. If Liverpool do go on to the quarterfinals, I think we'll be talking about one of the great European nights that we've ever witnessed in history. So uh, let's see what happens. But uh, Real Madrid will be confident now of going through, or should be confident anyway, of going through um, to the next stage. So that's where it is. Let me know your thoughts, of course, on the game. It's a fantastic game. In, in some ways, I thought it was shaping up to be a contest at the end of the first half, wasn't it? We all thought we were going to see something classic. And then suddenly Real Madrid just blew away Liverpool in, in a way that United did to Leicester over the weekend as well. It's kind of similar, wasn't it? Um, probably not in scoreline, but in, in the way that they played. But let me know what you thought of the game. Of course, smash like if you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Follow us on, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're going to have a couple more videos today um, after this as well. Uh, so please do watch out for those and you'll get notified if you subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.